Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meecher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Arise. In the last episode, we learned a lot about Dohalin's past. And oh boy. Ah, we met up with Dohalin's friends as well. So, uh, if you guys didn't see last episode, you guys are missing out. Anyway, we are in the Forbidden Zone. In the entry area, we enter the maintenance passageway. We fought a boss here that was pretty epic. And now we're going forward. So, uh, anything else here? I can't go this way for anything. Nothing, nothing. All right, let's head onward. Let's take that teleporter. Yeah, oh, never mind. I'm getting a skit. I mean, not a skit. Cutscene. Oh my god. There's so many skits that I'm already thinking it's a skit. <laughs> what is it, Rinwell? Do you hear something again? Yeah. Oh. What are we hearing? It's that voice. The voice of Dana? The will of Dana's astral energy. Oh, here it comes. What's this? Oh, is this the ceremony that passed? That's the Renis Alma. That's Alfin and Naori. There's a bunch of thorns here. This has to mean something, right? All these thorns. But where's it all coming from? It's almost like it's alive. <gasps> That's the maiden's power. Uh Ah, thorns, okay. Oh my Uh What? It came from the Maiden's power? <coughs> Neri expelled it. And it ran into the Renesalma? What? Oh. Oh. Alfin? What? Alfin! What happened there? What? Did- Could he not control the Sovereign's power? What happened? Spirit channeling ceremony just now. No, it was more than that. It's how the thorns came to be. What the hell was that? It felt like everything was on the brink of, like the whole world was seconds from oblivion. It's the same vision as the one my thorns show me. A vision of impenetrable darkness that swallows up us and everything else. Oh. An empty void. A nothing so complete and dominating that there aren't even words to describe it. The end of time. That's it, huh? The visions of the apocalypse you've been seeing. If I'd known how bad they were, I... Uh. Shion. So, everything we just saw, those were Naori's memories, right? Yeah, That's and right. Alphans. It was as if her innermost thoughts were speaking directly to us. At least I know they weren't mine. Oh, they weren't yours? That power flowing into her. It reminds me of Xion's thorns. If they're what's responsible for all these visions she's been having, then maybe... Maybe my thorns are made from that same astral energy? Probably. 
So that ceremony that is was gate is what we just found the missing link between your thorns and what happened here three centuries gave ago. everyone like no her lineage link. the thorns perhaps even the very heart of the matter I that whole ceremony is what energy gave so it powerful what was that if it's the same energy your thorns are made of it must be dark astral energy right and isn't that something only renins have hmm. correct Dark astral energy is possessed by Renans alone. And when what? enough astral energy gathers together, it develops its own form of sentience. If so, maybe that complete oblivion is exactly what the Renan astral energy's will is wishing for. But why? I don't know. Will can be a pretty vague thing to nail down. It's more of a feeling, just like the will of Dana. But the will of Dana is made up of astral energy too, right? And if that's what's been showing us these visions... I don't know, should we really be getting so involved with this thing? Dana's will would never want oblivion! But you can't say that for sure! Cut it out, you two. Squabbling over theories will get us nowhere. <sighs> <sighs> Let's keep moving. Oh, now I'm more it's curious Dana's than ever. showing us these memories. And I'm as clueless about its motives as any one of us. But if it could lead us to the truth, then I want to find out more. I agree. Shion's right. All we can do is keep going. Mm -hmm. If these really are Naori's memories we're watching, there could be truths in them I was never aware of. And I think they may be the kinds of truths I need to confront if we're going to keep fighting. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. Come on, let's go. Yeah. All right. Seen visions. We begin to understand what the thorns are. Yes, and their source. A ceremony that occurred three centuries ago. But we still don't know how to get rid of them. I just hope we can find a way. Maybe the maiden powers has been like, are the ones that gave that. Th can I? I really? I wanted to use the skip! Stop! Stop! Stop moving! Stop moving! Yo, can you... Well, there goes the skit. <laughs> Soon, you might very well learn the truth behind Shion's thorns. I just moved a little. Past. I just moved a little. Come on! I have to be ready to face anything. Whatever happens. Uh, turn back for the time being. Hold on, hold just on. need a little time first. Make sure I go into whatever comes next completely prepared. I lost the skit, did I not? I lost the skit, did I? Oh no, it's still here. Perfect. Oh my god. The vision we saw. It was as if it was meant specifically for us. Yeah. What do you make of it? Do you still think the will of Dana might be involved somehow? Maybe it's trying to tell us something. But what? Well, it could be supernatural. You know, like seeing dead people, messages no. from beyond the grave, I see ghost type people. stuff. That that's your grand theory? That we're being haunted? <laughs> Come on, Law. Wait. He might be closer to the mark than you think. I'm gonna say my opinion after this skit. Thoughts and deeds were to somehow become indelibly etched into the ether of a place. And what if those with a connection could then somehow pick up on them? You think that's what it was? Some kind of message someone left here for us? I am merely entertaining the possibility. Whether it was Dana's will, or somehow connected to the Sovereign and Maiden's powers, I do not know. Okay, back up a sec. You're saying that if a place is full of enough astral energy, it can somehow show us events that happened centuries ago? It's... More to the point, how does that much astral energy gather in one place anyway? Seems unlikely it happened naturally. Whatever it was, it survived here intact for 300 years. Whoever left it for us, the strength of their intent is beyond doubt. The strength of their intent? Naori? Probably. This is insane. I kid you not. Like, the full, the more deeper we go, the more answers we get, but more questions pop up, too. My opinion is that that um that ceremony is what gave um 
awakened those thorns inside the maiden's power they gave the maiden's power with the thorns i don't know maybe that's at least my thought i'm not sure <sighs> who knows and then it was passed by generation through generations like the maiden's power and everything through the whole lineage so who knows anyway also um happy new year for everybody i hope everyone has a great start of the new year because this video is going up i'm recording it on new year's eve so this video is the first video of 2022 hope you guys have an amazing year and you guys get everything you wish for and everything you want and work hard for your goals like i will be doing this channel i'm gonna be working harder and harder and and a lot of surprises so uh be sure to check that out there's a uh, second channel in the works i'm not gonna say anything more but uh yeah anyway let's uh let's head forward i think we're ready uh i want to know more Soon, so we might very well learn the truth behind shion's thorns as well as my own past I have yep. to be ready to face anything but whatever happens Let's go. The only way is forward. I'm determined to save Shion and Dana. Nothing I learn can change that. Mm-hmm. I agree. Let's go, Alfin. Really? I didn't... Maybe it's because I stopped it. Who knows? Alright, uh... Ooh, so we're going this way? This is the way to go? Alright, let's explore a little bit. Hold up, you guys. Oh. What is it? I want to look through that room over there. I'm curious what we'll find. Okay, the never room mind. Visited in your past, right? Sure. We can check it out. Wait, 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 wait. Is this this is this is where Alfin was, right? This was his room. So this is the forbidden area. What? This looks like some kind of research facility. There's Alfin was experimented on, right? A laboratory secreted away in the Forbidden Zone. Why am I past being surprised at this point? Looks pretty deserted. Hmm. I can imagine. Let's check it out. It might give us a new lead. All right. Oh, a skit, of course. Why wouldn't there be? For the people of Lenigus, the Forbidden Zone is the stuff of dreams. Yet here I am, standing within its hallowed halls. It's off limits even for lords, then? Talk about an exclusive club. Being exclusive is one thing, but how many important facilities let in only the sovereign? Doesn't that seem a little strange? Strange doesn't cover it. If it was only one room, maybe. But a place on this scale? How do they keep it from falling into ruin? Whoever the sovereign is, they can't manage the upkeep of this whole place themselves. Did yeah. no one ever talk about it when you were growing up? No, not that I can remember. Then again, sovereigns and forbidden zones weren't exactly breakfast table conversations. The forbidden zone is a hallowed place, at one with the sovereign's authority, grounds of the one true ruler who presides over all mm. Renans. That is what we believed this place to be. No, what we were made to believe it but was. It was all a false. But now. It is finally time to discover this area's true purpose and why it was kept hidden behind the scenes for so long. Oh my god. Let me explore this in the back before uh, anything. What is this? I'm coming storing human bodies, whether it held living or dead ones, they're all empty now. Oh my god. Huh. What is this? Room showing equipments have been used in a long time. It says the same thing. It's, show, it's showing Lenigus structures. You can see pipes for transporting astral energy sticking out of them. Okay. A notice. This area will now be shut down as the project proceeds the final phase. Oh. So what was the project? Alright. Let's come here and see what this project was about. A terminal. Alright. Hmm, I think I can make this work. All right. 
Okay. What do we have there? Well, can you make head or tail of it? These are experiment records by the looks of it. Reams of them dating back hundreds of years. Let's see. I have to be there. Composite being capable of controlling Dan and astral energy so as to convert its molecular and elemental makeup. The creation of a governing central figure taking the form of a Danon. Codename Sovereign. Sovereign? Wait, there's more. Research into utilizing force field crystals for the purpose of stable astral energy containment. That must be the master course. With all this raw data, there's bound to be records here somewhere about the Maiden and the Lords, too. About the Lords? Hmm. Why would they be on there? Think about it. The Lords' crests are clearly of a piece with those of both the Sovereign and the Maiden. Not to mention the fact that the contenders to the Crown are selected from otherwise regular Renan citizens. In other words, it may be that all Renans are unwittingly being made subject to some kind of grand scheme. Huh. What about the Sovereign? Does it say anything else? I agree. Where do I start? All I've read so far is the headlines. There's so much here. To sift through all of it would require specialized... Wait. What is it? Hmm? Did you find something? It's a list of names. With the title, Test Subjects, Sovereign. What? It's your call. Yes. Read it. There must be dozens of test subjects listed here. Hundreds even. All of them failures. Wait. I think I've found one that was successful. Alfin. Test subject number 1273. Ethnicity, N.A. Mm -hmm. Unique adjustment index, generation, N.A. Huh? Given name, Alfin. <sighs> They've re-engineered me, right here in this lab. Yeah. Alfin. <laughs> it's fine, really. What about the others? Was I the only one? Test subject number 10105. Huh? Ethnicity, N.A. There was another. Unique adjustment index, generation, N.A. Given name... Volron. <gasps> Volron? But that means So we're both engineered here? He's only sovereign because someone made him that way too. What? He's the last one. In three centuries worth of records, you and Volron are the only two subjects on whom the experiment was a success. Whoa. <laughs> But what about the winners of the crown contests? Does this mean that none of them were ever crowned sovereign after all? Does it say Upon anything victory, about that? The sovereign shall return to Rena and rule over Rena and Lenegas combined. Mm -hmm. When a new sovereign is decided, the outgoing monarch shall relinquish their post and live out the rest of their days on Rena. So we were told. But according to these records, there have only ever been two sovereigns. Neither of whom had anything to do with the crown contest. <laughs> then what about the winners? So what happened to them? Including the part about the sovereign residing in Rena. Yeah, because we were both the in Dana. The contest was never about deciding a new ruler. It must always have been devised for some other purpose. But even supposing that's true, someone must have been in charge for the past three centuries, right? If it wasn't the sovereign, then who was it? The lady in red? Crown contests have been held this whole time, in spite of the fact that there was already a sovereign, me. And Volron. That for the past 300 years, someone out there has to have been maintaining that lie. The same person I'm willing to bet is behind all this. The woman in red, I'm betting. It has the to be. Woman? Or she works for some, for the w one it's behind possible. it all. But that doesn't necessarily mean she's the mastermind behind this. Scene. Exactly. That's my same thinking too. She could be working for someone else. Someone back on the Renan homeworld. Maybe the Renan homeworld is an alien planet. 
She looks very alien. Either obviously. way, it's fair to say she's definitely involved somehow. What about the data records? Is there no other information that could help us? Not that Anything? I can see. Just file upon file of experiment results. There's nothing here about who's behind all this, or what their end game is, unfortunately. I've barely managed to scratch the surface, mind you. You won't be able to read through it all, but you're welcome to take a look through what you can while we're here. Right. I'll do that. <sighs> yeah, let's do that. Right, uh. So this is where Alfin became the sovereign. And <sighs> Volron as well. The significance of this location would suggest. Hey! It looks like the terminals in here turned on too. We yeah, I'm gonna go check them out. As soon as you all shut up. Information. And let's do the skit, cause jeez. Only two sovereigns in over 300 years. So why has the experiment only succeeded twice in all this time? And if that's the case, why keep on doing it? Was there really no other way? Or could there be some other reason? Dohalim. <laughs> Forgive me. Alfin. I'm fine. I'm just a little shaken, that's all. I knew what I was already, so it's not like it's a surprise or anything. But it's strange. I've got all this rage inside of me, but I don't even know who it's for. I'm scared that I'll put a face to it, just to have someone to blame. If that were to happen, then I... No. Then we'd help you fight it before you ever got that far. Thank you. <sighs> wouldn't we, everyone? Yeah, we wouldn't just sit by and watch you spiral out of control. That's right. No good can come from being consumed by hatred. If you ever start to lose your way, you can count on us to guide you back, to remind you where home is. And I would be happy to lend an attentive ear should you ever have need. <sighs> Thank you, everyone. I think I'll be okay now. Good. Alright, let's learn some more information. Select a topic to explore. Lords. Each crown contest, five of the best qualified members of random populace are chosen to act as lords, vying to serve as the next sovereign. During their tenure, they are granted level 3 authority, as well as one of the five elemental realms to administer, and its corresponding master core. They're also assigned an ID crest indicating their designated element. The selection process is based only on astral artistry and physical and mental aptitude. Other variables such as age have no bearing whatsoever. Because only the strongest go to become lords, the position itself does not inherently make an individual any stronger. It should be noted, however, that lords are not the only individuals capable of drawing out a master course powers. All Renans must take part in the selection process and acceptance of the position is mandatory. It is not allowed for those deemed suitable to decline. Oh, that's why Doholim was made. Furthermore, in the event that an acting lord is incapacitated and can no longer ser serve their position, a replacement must be quickly prepared. So the topic to explore. All right. Unique adjustment index type subject report. The following is a report on the second successful case of Sovereign Test Subject Experimentation. Test Subject 10105, given name Volron, Generation NA, Unique Adjustment Index, Ethnicity NA. Although subject possesses high latent potential, it exhibits significant mental instability, instability along with strong distaste for following orders. As such, the risk it poses surpasses even those of the last successful subject, itself a failure, and is therefore under consideration for disposal. Oh. Addendum. This is the first successful case in 300 years. Previously mentioned risk factors are now mitigated due to established control protocols. Subject is to be evaluated under the assumption that Plan 2 will proceed and will be dispatched to Dana under the guise of serving as a lord. Oh, so Volron was recent. Huh. Whoa. Okay. 
So that's a topic to explore. The Sovereign. The Sovereign acts as Lenigus' central control device for the, spinlet, for the spirit channeling ceremony. Each one is granted level 2 authority and an ID crest. A Danon subject serves as the base of its creation. In theory, in theory, ideal candidates possess equal affinity for every astral element. However, such aptitude is strategically rare to uncover within real-world conditions. As a result, most subjects die during the adjustment period and stability is still not guaranteed for those who survive it. This instability coupled with the Sovereign's powers of astral manipulation pose a high risk to the security of Lenigus if left unchecked. As such, stabilization measures must be put in place via the support mechanism when utilizing the Sovereign in the Spirit Channeling Ceremony. Addendum 1. No effective alternate methods to perform the ceremony have been found. Trials on Danon subjects are authorized to continue. Addendum 2. Unit 2 adjustments are a success. Subsequent ex adjustments are to be put on hold while extent observation takes place. So that's the topic. The Maiden. The Maiden asks, acts as the sovereign support mechanism for the spirit channeling ceremony. Each one is granted level 2 authority and an IG crest. A Renan subject serves its functions, providing the sovereign with a supplemental dark astral it lacks in tandem with, Renis, with the Renis Alma. During the ceremony, it is partly responsible for astral energy conver conversion, as well as maintaining stability over the sovereign's own powers. Additionally, the degree of intimacy between it and the sovereign has been observed to positively impact the level of stability in both subjects. Because of this, trial activations of the sovereign without the maiden present are expressly forbidden. Furthermore, Neither the Sovereign nor the Maiden are to be informed about the details of the Spirit Channeling Plan. Addendum 1. Mental instability in the Maiden has been deemed the cause of the past Sovereign's rampancy. Countermeasures must be considered. Addendum 2. In line with plan adjustments, the current subject will have its Maiden registration revoked and be returned to its original household. Huh. So that's a topic to explore. What? So Naori got rid, like, they, hmm, got rid of her, then, hmm, they, they made Shion, which is a successor of the bloodline of her, the maiden now? Like, they made her be, I don't know. Let's see, Master Cores. Master Cores are instruments for of power containing astral energy that belongs to one of the six elements. Five of the Master Cores, those with Earth, Water, fire, wind, and light are loaned to Renan lords at the time of the crown contest. Only the dark master core is maintained inside the forbidden zone until the Renis Alma is ready to be reformed, its existence kept top secret. Underneath a master core's spherical outer layer is a force field crystal used for the purpose of astral energy containment and stabilization. Inside the force field, astral energy is stored in a dormant state. For the duration of the tenure, each lord competes in the crown contest to amass their allotted type of astral energy. In the event of an emergency, each lord may be allowed to withdraw from their respective stock of astral energy as necessary. However, the extent allowed is determined based on their own individual strength. Addendum 1. Design flaws have been discovered in how the Renis Alma materializes. Be advised that active master cores may resonate with other master cores located in pro close proximity and become unstable. Addendum 2. Due to successful regeneration of the Renis Alma, master cores will cease to be deployed and the crown contest will be permanently halted. Huh? But... What? I'm so confused now. Spirit cores are, ter are end terminals used for the collection of astral energy. When embedded in a biological subject, it establishes connections throughout its body. These connections are used to amass astral energy generated from physical activity, which is then emitted from the host body itself. Because it's, this emitted energy is prone to diffuse, the host must be placed within range of a spirit vessel for the energy to be collected. This means that Danans must be employed to harvest the astral energy for the purpose of the crown contest. Given the difficulty in producing them, it is advised that spirit cores be retrieved from host bodies and reused upon their death. Ooh. 
Spirit cores can also be embedded in Zoogles to control them via Astral Arcs. Addendum. Increased physical load on a host body tends to produce increased astral energy emissions. Final confirmation of ideal workload to impose on host bodies without inducing death for maximum astral energy yields is still, is still pending. Huh. We're learning quite a lot in these terminals. Alright, let's see. Lenigus. A large-scale astral energy converter that primarily converts the elemental composition of Dana's astral energy and transmits it to Rena. Activation and control of astral energy conversion is achieved by placing the Sovereign, Maiden, and the Renus Alma within the central core of Lenigus. It is comp comprised of classified and essential personal residence zones around the large conduit, along with a defense layer surrounding them. This outer layer is deployed upon activation, unlocking the central conduit while sim simultaneously functioning as the stabilization mechanism. Due to its design, deployment of the outer layer is to be is expected to cause damage to residential zones. However, because of because that only takes place during the final stage of the spirit channeling ceremony, no contingency plan to address said damage is needed. Until that phase, Lenigus serves as the central base of operations for the management and execution of the Crown Contest on Dana. Warning: any personnel with level 3 authority or lower is strictly forbidden from the classified zone. Any violators will be immediately executed. Oh boy, well, we better not get caught. Detachable Harvester. A massive spirit vessel placed on Dana for the spirit channeling ceremony. It serves as the tip of Lenigus conduit from which it separates. Upon landing in Dana's waters, it extends two sets of conducting pathways. The vertical paths connect to the center of Dana. Meanwhile, the horizontal pathways Proceed to envelop the entire surface of Dana. That's the wedge. We're talking about the wedge here. Once activated, it links to the biological spare vessels placed in each realm, efficiently harvesting the planet's astral energy and mass. The accumulated astral energy is transmitted to Rena via Lenigus. Oh! Because, because construction and adjustment takes place in the Forbidden Zone's regulator area, Lenigus' outer layer must be deployed prior to launch. Intended to function semi autom autonom autonomously. I'm sorry, I can't read. Only maintenance personnel are expected to manually interface with it when necessary. No other personnel is required for it to function. Addendum 1 Detachable Harvester 1 was lost on Dana after, after exploding due to the rampancy exhibited by the Sovereign. Addendum 2. Detachable Harvester 2's landing point will remain in the same or will remain the same as the previous model. This is due to the explosion of the previous model, which altered the planetary topography, enabling easier connection to the center of Dana. Huh. So there were two wedges. The first one and that Alpha destroyed because of the rampage, and the second one that is just right now on Dana. Alright. Sedative mass. What? A device covering the wearer's whole face that cons that restricts their mental activity it was developed for the purpose of pacifying prisoners. Oh, that's the mask I had! Medical applications are also recognized, particular as a means to preventing patients from sustaining mental trauma. Uh, however, doing so is not recommended as prolonged use of the device carries the risk of inducing a number of adverse side effects. Addendum. Due to the loss of production facilities incurred from the partial destruction of Lenigus, additional devices will no longer be manufactured. Ah, that was a sedative mask. Interesting. Brainwashing report. After receiving reports of a robust new form of rule emerging in Dana's water realm, a study was commissioned to investigate the matter in depth. This system is unique in that it elevates only the Lord as the supreme authority while relegating both Renans and Danans alike to enslavement. Test Subject 10105 serves as the realm's current Lord and has achieved this without the use of any special powers, drugs, or special devices. Rather, it has done so by sheer governance, giving this method's effectiveness at population control. Monitoring the situation will continue. Addendum 1. Collapse of the cognitive facilities via extreme mental repression 
rooted in violence and fear has proven to be key to the style of rule. Once the subject loses his autonomy, they become den desensitized to fear and subsequently cease to prioritize even their own personal safety. That's what we saw. Wow, that's what we saw with uh, this guy. I completely forgot the town. You guys know the town that everybody was brainwashed. I've, I don't know for the life of me, I can't remember. I'm so dumb. Uh, the, the town, Vol the place Volron was, the realm, his realm. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Though such a state is ill suited for commanding officers, it remains an effective way to cultivate disposable infantry and slaves for manual labor. Addendum 2. Soldiers and Lenigus who have undergone this treatment will be asked to secure classified sectors as a trial. The results will be monitor monitored. Huh. That was a lot of information that we learned. There is no more information, but holy. That was. That was insane. Holy hell, we learned a lot. But, with all that information that we crammed into our tiny little brains, we're gonna leave this episode here, cause holy, the revelations and all this information, this is, there's a lot to unpack. So, in the next episode, we are gonna continue forward and see what else there is, cause obviously I wanna know more of the past. We're getting a lot of details and a lot of explanations for everything, and I am hyped. I am hyped, and I hope you guys are excited and hyped as well. If you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I am, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.